Okay, YouTube, going to take you through the step by step of doing a lion's mane mushroom, growing it to all, all the way to capsuling it in case you're taking it as a supplement to help for, for, for brain activity, nootropics, etc. So uh, join me as I take you through this. We're going to grow one from start. Uh, I will have a link below on where you can get your kit um, and how to grow it and all the equipment that you'll need so check in the show notes below all right first thing we want to do is when you get it you have to flip it upside down you see the labels upside down and that um, uh, because it comes in a big bag so you flip it upside down then you um, cut holes cut little slits an x pattern in the sides in the top you'll see that x pattern there and on the sides and on the back. And once you do that, then it comes with these skewers. You put the four skewers in, and then you put the uh, dome lid on it. Then you've got your little mister bottle that comes with it. It'll come with the kit. So you squirt ten inside underneath the uh, the uh, humidity tent, and you'll uh, squirt ten pumps a day into that. And then that's it. You just let it wait ten to 12 to 18 days and you'll have a lion's mane mushroom so let's wait and the next step is we'll harvest our mushroom okay so now we've grown out our Lion's mane mushroom, and uh, as you see, the tentacles are starting to come out. So this one, uh, we're going to go ahead and harvest it, and then um, we'll take it down there and do the next step. Right now, I'm going to uh, going to take a pair of scissors. We're going to get this cut out. I, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Please forgive me. Okay, now it's off. I'm sorry, I know that wasn't the best filming in the world. But here is your lion's mane. We're going to transfer it to a plate. And next we're going to have to cut this up. Okay, so here we are. I've got the lion's mane mushroom on a plate now. What we've got to do is we've got to cut this in thin slices so that we can put it in our uh, dehydrator, food dehydrator. This one is a Presto. Uh, this is the cheapest one and most effective one I've found uh, on, on Amazon or online. And I'll put a link below because this is the cheapest price I've been able to find for this. So if you find out what that is, it'll be down below. Uh, so what we need to do now is commence with the slicing of, and I'll try to do this with one hand. I, I may not be able to do this with one hand, so... Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to push pause and I'm going to slice this into thin slices. And when I come back, it should be all sliced and we'll be ready to put it in the dehydrator. Okay, so we've got it cut into thin slices. Uh, here's what the lion's mane looks like as it's sliced. Uh, we're going to put it on the dehydrator wherever we can find it. I'm going to fill this up shouldn't since i only used one uh growth of the lion's mane from its main source we'll we'll cultivate the others later i'm only going to need one one level of this dehydrator this dehydrator works very well make sure you get one with 160 degrees uh does the trick and uh um so there it is. I'm going to put the, um, I might need to put one more level on it and um, we'll get this thing started. Okay, I put the next level on it and then the lid. Then this should thing should be ready to plug in and we'll come back in a couple hours, maybe three or four hours, maybe six. I'll have to check and we'll get all the water weight that's in it out and then we should be able to put it in our grinder and uh, make powder out of it 
now that the drying time is complete, uh, we're left with, uh, you know, a darker version of, of the lion's mane. It's no longer white. It turns to a little bit of a brown. And then we're going to transfer this into our coffee grinder. And we're going to grind up into a powder. So I'm going to add a few in here. And then I'm going to... Um, We're going to grind it up into a powder. So let me do that step for you now. To a powder. And let me unscrew the top. I've got to use, I've got to stop the video to do. Okay, then you're left with the powder like this. Say, so, and for the interest of time, I'll transfer it to this jar. And uh, this is some stuff that I've had uh, uh, from a previous grow. Now, I want to I want to talk to you a little bit at this stage. We need to take a time to pause and 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 to get something that's really important. This is the part that I like to add the B three. Now. Vitamin B3 niacin is is serious stuff, and you do not want to cap uh, to capsule it separately because the amount of powder it will fill a capsule up with is too much. And you'll if you've never experienced a niacin flush, it turns your skin red, it, it your face flush. You, you'll feel like you're burning up inside. It's not a very comfortable feeling. Now, that being said, the whole point of adding vitamin B3 to this uh, stack is so that uh, the vitamin B3, because it causes a flush, will take the lion's mane, and if, if psilocybin is legal in your area and you choose to stack it with this, it will take all of that to the ends of the peripheral nerves. And that's why what the purpose of the, the, the vitamin B3 is, to stack it with lion's mane mushroom or if it's legal psilocybin. Now, what I do is if I have a powder of this amount, and this is just a regular size mason jar, I would just barely fill up the very bottom with your vitamin B3 powder. And you can order it online. Comes in a little package or powder, however much you want. And I would just fill it up just a little bit, maybe a one to 10 ratio, uh, especially if you add uh, enough lion's mane to get it up to this amount, then I would maybe do one size of your finger width or so of vitamin B3 powder down at the bottom. Then I would put the lion's mane mushroom on top, and then I would shake it up. And this is what I've done in here. All this is mixed together. There's vitamin B3 in this, and there's lion's mane. And I shake it all up so that I, the next step is to capsule it. And now I've got a mixed B3 and lion's mane so that I'm not overtaking or ODing on vitamin B3, which it has a bad result. Trust me, you don't, don't want to have that severe of a niacin flush. Okay, now that I've got my uh, niacin mixed with my lion's mane powder, uh, next step is just to capsule it. And so I purchased uh, the uh, capsule machine. And you can see here, this is the triple zero. Uh, this is the largest capsule size they make that I'm aware of. And here it is, is the zero, zero, zero capsules, the gel caps. Uh, the old one I had was just a zero. And you can see by the size that it's pretty small. And you'd have to probably take five or six of these to equivalent, you know, a couple of these. So uh, for, for the purposes of microdosing and putting lion's mane powder I would recommend you buy the biggest size and I've put in the show notes below the cheapest price I found on this because it's real simple to use so let's get started okay first of all let's look at the differences of the sizes that is a double uh, that is a size zero and this is a size triple zero so you can see how much more powder this will hold and, and I just think it kind of makes sense where you you have the maximum amount of powder you can get in one instead of going three or four to equal this one, you know. So 
So I use uh, the triple zero, and here is the triple zero uh, capsule machine. So here's what we do to get started. Uh, I've got my capsules right. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but uh, the capsule comes apart, and in the lower half goes in there, and the top half goes in the smaller one. Okay, so then you fill up each one of these. Um, let's get the smaller one, or the larger one, and then the smaller one. So let me stop this, and I'll do all, uh, however many there are here, and I, then we'll start. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I've got all my caps in here, and I've got all the, 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 the tops in here. So now we pour the powder in here. So hold on one moment. So now after that's filled, uh, we pour in our powder and this may come out a little bit fast and I'm going to have to, some of it's lumpy, so we're going to have to kind of cut it up a little bit. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so bear with me enough. Then there's a little card that comes with, it's a little spread card comes with the uh, the uh, capsule machine and then you just kind of chop it up spread it in to the holes uh, where the capsules are all right once you get a little bit of it filled now here's an important step inside your capsule machine is this and this is to tamp it down and to push the powder deep in the holes. So you put some force on that, lift it up. You may have to tap it a little bit. It kind of makes a mess. And now you spread it out some more. And that'll allow you to fill this with complete capacity. I'm spilling a little bit here. Bear with me. Normally I'd be a little bit neater than this. That way I can not have to use so many capsules. All right, we're almost done here. I'm going to just leave it there. You know, you can pack it down a little bit more, but thing is to get kind of it in there. I'm going to leave it alone there. I usually would level it off, but and now the last step is to join these two together. And I'm going to make sure that I do this right because I was worried about sitting down flat like that with the tops. Then you just simply with both your thumbs and again, this is going to be really hard to do with uh, mush down, lift it up, and then most of the time you would just squeeze them out of there like that. Uh, and some of them fell down in here and they didn't come up right, but that's all right. But they're capsule. So that's, that's kind of the, the idea. Uh, you know, that's not a very good demonstration where I only had one hand, but but uh, it's very efficient and, and it works. And uh, uh, that's now you have capsule that you can take each day. So let's weigh this and see how much powder is inside there. Okay, so here I have a, a, a scale that, that will uh, register all the way down to the milligrams. So I want to try to um, get this as accurate as I could be. So I'm going to put this on the scale, which is 10 grams. Then I'm going to uh, zero that out. And then in order to do this, I'm going to have to balance this on top. That's 0 0.096 grams for the actual empty capsule. I'm going to zero that out. So now we have a size zero capsule. We'll see how much powder's in there. So 0 .3, 0 0.320 of a gram. Now let's do this with the um, let's do this with the um, zero 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 capsule, and then we'll see. So that's an empty capsule on top of that weight, and now we're at zero grams. So the amount of power powder, excuse me, lime mains powder in um, in the 000 capsule is almost 0 
So that's how much capacity you could have. So if you were microdosing and you wanted to do a gram, uh, then you would take probably two of these. And then that gets you close. And so that's why I like to use the bigger capsules because I use less and I get the same, same dosage. So anyway, that's what the scale says. That's the difference between the size zero and then this size is zero, zero, zero. Okay, so this is how you kind of capsule lines made from start to finish, mixing it with a little bit of B3 so that it gets it to the uh, places in your body that it needs to get it to. Uh, this is what Paul Stamets recommended doing uh, along with the psilocybin stack. So if this is your purpose in doing, um, this is how to do it. So. Uh, I appreciate you watching and like and subscribe and thank you very much.